Welcome back everybody to Spirit Plays More Spiral Knights. Dude, my theory crafting worked. We still have connection because I left my router unplugged. Suckers overheating in the summer, man. What can I say? Anyway, before we begin, if you could please click the like button, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought now. Uh, we will pull our knowledge together. That is a bunch of poop right there. Anyway, what we got going on is we're still, it's taking us eons. We're trying to level the Silent Night Blade to level 10 to get an Acheron. We're actually going to use it combat-wise this time around. We got our Valance, Voltage, and the Silent Night Blade. Um, the, oh, I also have this to make us feel like we're not old and we have some spring in our step. But anyway, the, the dude, this new gate looks pretty good. The Jade King gate. I just hit puberty the other day. Look at this beauty. It's gorgeous. My friend munted. I love it. And the potential right here is just too good. So we're going to go down. Anyway, I don't mind a first round compounds. We're going to... Chittering brews. Eh. It means the scarabs are going to come in droves. And we're going to deal with them like freaking martial artist professionals. You know, we're going to stand in place and throw a bunch of punches and kicks. Pretend like we can see punches coming before they're even there. Block them, et cetera, et cetera. Do the, uh, it, it's, it's getting quite hot here in Pennsylvania. The humidity is going up. It's like, literally like a jungle outside. I feel, if you close your eyes outside in my backyard, you, you can feel like you're in the movie The Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, you guys ever saw that movie or not? It's, uh, it's probably one of the all-time classics. Because you, you look at that movie and you're like, that guy actually became a governor. And he killed a predator. And he was the Terminator. And he was Conan the Barbarian. I mean, the guy had some very awesome uh, lifetime feats in the realm of the imagination. Let me tell you. Oh, yeah, these guys. I just want to shoot you in the brain. There we go. That makes me feel better when I do that. Even if you didn't deserve it. Actually, you did deserve it. You're a griever. By definition, you deserve extermination. Now, these things get a little... Wiry. Not like we had our fill with these or anything and when we did the uh, Shroud of the Apocrypha event a couple times or you know, anything like that. We love you. We love you, Scarabs. Why am I even doing this? <laughs> Just beat them to a pulp. That's what you get for, for some social uprising. That's what you get. Oh, man. Dude. Anyway, speaking of hot, it's all... Like, the rain just came last night. So you might hear some thunder. You might hear some, some background noise. I also got the fan pumping in here like freaking crazy. Wow, it is really coming down. I don't need to go in there. They could just sit there in their tiny holy huddle and enjoy themselves. Hopefully not produce more. We don't need more. Because the benefit of that area is... Uh, I need to get more of these backgrounds, man. They just look so good. <laughs> even even if they're not uh, being fully animated, they still got some good qualities. But anyway, I digress. I digress quite often. You guys ever see uh, Princess Bride? When the dude said, uh, the, the guy kidnaps the prince. <laughs> if you've never seen the movie, you have no idea what I'm talking about. All right, so the story, it's, it's like this kid's sick, so his grandfather tells him a story. And their um, the stories of uh, starts of a princess who falls in love with like a farmer boy, who's is just completely unrealistic compared to modern standards. But I mean, that's the world we live in. But anyway, so uh, then then like the next, eventually it just shows that like this guy's getting a, uh, the, the princess got captured by bandits, and this dude's rescuing her. You don't know it's the dude yet. There, I spoiled it for you. You can kind of tell he's wearing the opposite of social distancing masks. Well, you start now with your your friend, your uh, connection skipping there, buddy. Come on. And yeah, I forgot I was going with this, but I'll still tell you about Princess Bride. Anyway, he, he starts to... Oh, I know where I was going with it. <laughs> My brain. We had only half a cup of coffee yet so far, so I mean, we're give it a minute. By the time we get to, like, the, the different stratums below, we'll be in full bore coherent thought mode. It'll be glorious for all to behold. Oh no, what have I done? Get him, Mike. Yeah. Show those little bugs what's up. I'd be scared of so many freaking... Where's the working man? We need that guy. The extermination station. So anyway, yeah, he has a couple tests. He has to fight Andre the Giant, who's like freaking 10 feet tall and like 300 pounds. Not all of it's chub. I mean, he's got some. He's a professional wrestler. 
So he's got some muscle on him too. It's very, very extraordinary individual. It's like giantism or something going on with him. But anyway, the um, so he fights that guy, like wrestles him, fights this guy who's also a master swordsman, beats him, and then he fights this guy. Doesn't fight him. He has a he's the the brains of the operation. He challenges him to a a uh, task to see which one or like which goblet has poison in it, and he chooses to put the poison in it. And the guy keeps saying. Inconf, it's like a lisp. Inconceivable, constantly, even with the uh, oh no, power do not go out. Stay with me, man. Inconceivable, what he keeps saying. And uh, like when they were talking, their their private conversations. That's not what I meant to. That's okay. Eh. The guy's like, the swordsman keeps looks at him with his he like, why do you keep saying that word? I don't think it means what you think it means. So anyway, it's it's, it's me with language. That's what I'm trying to get at. Sometimes I, I say words constantly, and I, I'm, I'm kind of sketchy on their definition. So I hope nobody ever calls me out on them. <laughs> but at the same time, it, it expands vocabulary. It expands. Never, ever ask. Just come on in, buddy. I love having friends in here anyway. No one will ever call me out on, on mistaken vocabulary. I got, this is one of the reasons I have a, you know, I have a dictionary literally sitting next to my chair in the study. Webster's Dictionary, it's pretty good. I actually asked for that on, like, Father's Day. The book is, like, dictionaries are interesting. It's a, not like leather bound. I, I don't think there is quite, oh, quite as, a, <laughs> we did so well to that one moment. Quite as a popular as, like, biblical proportion textbooks who sits there and reads a dictionary for 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 personal gain oh <laughs> welcome hunted it's good to see you but i don't know maybe they do it does benefit one party is this all we're gonna do is just freaking fight bugs today i'm okay mike you wanna you wanna help me out here get some get some of your fiery fiery dragon wrath Behold the power of eternal starvation, as I no longer consume anything. I just exist. Even when, I mean, this this in-depth study of heaven that we've had this past month. Oh, dude, the, the allergies. Even though the rains came, I guess I didn't wipe them all away. Uh, well, uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Anyway, we studied heaven a lot. That's what I was saying. Speaking of coherent thought, dude, it's just not coming. I'm also kind of in desperation straits because, we, you know, we got no black backlog. And I want to be... Semi-consistent when it comes to, you know, doing, showing the the adventurous part of this beautiful Java and rich game. I mean, what runs on Java? Who gives Java the appreciation Java deserves, if not Spiral Knights? Is there another platform? Is there another game run by the Juice, the Java Juice? I don't think so. I don't think one exists. I think Spiral Knights is the last one. I think. I don't really know, but I think. And sometimes your opinion is all that matters. Especially in this, uh, oh my gosh, do not die here. Come on, man. It's, pop, it's pill pop. Oh, he caught me between pop and pills. I opened my mouth and it was like a freaking fly just swam in there. Like, oh, that's so disgusting. Why would you do that? You didn't have to go into my mouth, fly. That, that's like the worst thing you could have done. I don't understand you at all. You know, this one should be a graver over here, right? You ready, buddy? Let's go. No, a, oh, a bot. Wow, interesting. Yes. Oh, no. They keep coming from behind. Just want to get rid of a lot of these guys, if not all of them. Okay, look, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Munted. We got this, buddy. That guy just walked through fire and lives. Oop. Bow down before the one you serve. You're going to get what you deserve. Smash the living crap. And the bug didn't get squished. Come on, man. Coming. Let's go the other way. Oh, here we go. Like your style, Munted. I'm doing this. He went for this. The quick hits. I went for the all out charge. Ooh, this might hurt. We did it. Boom. We're getting hit by stuff we cannot even see. 
No detective, your men are already dead. The Matrix is going to become a classic movie here soon. I'm, I'm not quite upset. I'm just, you know, you, as 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 time kind of creeps up on you, it's like, wow, I'm, I'm, uh, I am aging. <laughs> it's like that's a truth statement right there. Yet the movies we have, they seem to stay the same. Anyway, these are actually these these levels. The reason I I just chose the jaded one right away. I didn't even look at the other ones. It has, it has this, this beautiful symbol right here. This, this greenery that we all enjoy. Yesterday was the first day back to work for my wife. Now they're going. She she works at a daycare. It's it's, it's a pretty. It's not like uppity uppity charter school, pay a billion dollars a month kind of day, daycare. But it is. It's run by a church. They do PBIS. It's a. Um, excuse me. They do. Um, Um, anyway, it's one of the schools that you, uh, you, you basically have to sign your kid up before they're born to have them in there. <laughs> they teach them good stuff. Dude, my kids have benefited from this, like, like intensely. And the rain just stopped outside. Oh, no, there it goes again. Man, we got some friends coming up here, dude. Friendship magic. Depth 20, I guess, is the magical depth. Nobody wants to do that first round. Compounds are like, get the F out of here. By F, I mean Frank. Get the Frank out of here. Would you like to help me defeat Terminal Meltdown? Terminal Meltdown's interesting. But let's worry about one thing at a time. Did you come in here just to ask this question? Or did you come in here to look amazing? Both of which are acceptable. By the way, I'm, I probably should have changed. Well, I want my boomstick. <laughs> Feel, you know, it feels a little samey sometimes. Using the same exact things over and over again. Ooh, we probably should have went full force over here. Da, da, da. Get him, buddy. Mike, let's, let's make that area look a lot crazier than it has to. Ah. You do it, man. Oh, I got a night blade. Come here. Whoosh. Gimme, gimme. Gee. Oh, there comes the rain. Holy smokes, dude. It's, I don't know. I don't know how uh, you can if you can hear through the mic or not, but it, oh my gosh, dude. I might lose power here in a second. Oh <laughs> it is quite loud. You wouldn't be surprised if my family wakes up because of this. Feast or famine. My goodness. Friend request. Oh, my friend count is not maxed out yet. So beautiful. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a you know, free game. And I still have purging to do, right? You know, friends you haven't seen in a while. I do understand we uh we have issue with, with, with time constraint. Ah! It's at 2.44 a.m. Like, it's just perfect, roughly. Europe. Oh, no. Well, sure. Boom. We are the snipers. It's perfect for uh, those on the, the other side of the galaxy. Other side of the planet, right? I guess our internal galaxy. To, uh, you know, jump in and play. It's less crowded. It's not prime time. He's found it. Oh, treasure. Forgot. And that's a good thing. Speaking of galaxies, dude, I I, uh, I remember watching this uh this science special with Neil deGrasse Tyson. I like the guy a lot. I don't I don't believe it's just, I don't think his uh, theology or his philosophy are very well developed compared to his science. He's a very thoughtful dude, but um you can tell where his realm of study is, and that's okay. Everybody has their own forte and their own passion that drives them, and they come to a conclusion based on that. Um, but he said. Like, he, he's just, like, looking at all the evidence. He's just, just like, if you guys think we're going to travel to the other galaxies out there in, the in like, the ethos. <laughs> Which, again, is one of those words where I think I know what it means, but I don't really... I should probably get a dictionary to look it up. The, the actual definition. Oh, no, we're on the grenade. <laughs> the actual definition. Um, whoa. It's like, you're nuts. Like, the, the amount of time it takes and... 
it's one thing to think about like travel and traveling faster than the speed of light, but then trying to put a fleshy body in this and have it consistently. Ooh, somebody got stunned. The beauty of these guys are just out of control. It's another thing to, uh, you know, put a fleshy body in this and have it survive like the radiation pull. <laughs> that happens if you would uh, even theorycraft about, you know, descending to that kind of speed. And like, wow, yeah. How on earth are you going to make that happen? So it's just like it's not happening. It's just straight. Unless wormholes exist, which is, and they're just pure speculation. You know, and this is where I, I you, you look at the, those that rule their lives by science. Why are we not just popping these? I missed. <laughs> And it goes eventually to a religious state, right? Eventually, there's just faith. You gotta believe. You just gotta hope. Lightning Heart, come back. Java needs you. Java's populated by people. Sorry, battery died. I guess maybe in his controller. Wouldn't be surprised. Dude, I got my electric bike. is freaking phenomenal. I, I will drive in all weather. I'm like the old school mailman. Rain, nor snow, nor sleet, no hail will stop the country's mail. Something like that. Like, I'm going to ride this thing in snow. I'm going to ride it in summer. Whoa. I'm going to ride it in the winter time. It's going to be great. We didn't even get, even get through an entire like phase of that song that was that was beautiful good job guys we have an elite squad here now it's gonna be kind of you know not super easy but fairly easy put you there to oh uh, yeah we only have this easy okay we got one beautiful in reality, we shouldn't be getting hit by any of these because we've already dodged this specific scenario like three bajillion times. I don't know if I can make it. <laughs> yes. You see that speed? For like four solid tiles, I was extremely fast. Thank you, Mike. Your skill set is beyond measure. I gotta get you a harness, dude. He looks kind of naked right now with that. Can I take it off even? I don't think he can. I think you always need to have one on. I'm not sure. Can I? Is there an unequip option? I guess not. And he is on the Black Bulls. I can go now. Okay. You can. You have the technology. You may leave. You you can you can leave on the elevator or you can thank you. <laughs> it's alright these though. I get it. Sometimes you get so excited. If he thought I, I meant the entire arcade. So my brother, I'm sorry, I didn't mean after this mission. I meant after like, you know, we get depth twenty nine. Because you gotta see the core. It's a sight to behold. It's like going to the aquarium. If you had the ability to go to the aquarium every single day, would you do it? I mean, we got the Baltimore Aquarium that's like a stone's throw away from us. It's pretty good. I do. I'm a, I'm a fan of it. All right, it's freaking boomstick time, dude. Ba 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 boom. There we go. Advanced. First off, let's get this party started. So I got stuck alone. Secondly, blah blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, he decided to leave then. That's fine. You can leave whenever you want, man. Oh, it's the Asian. Have you seen this play? I can't do it, man. Sorry. He's faster than a mountain. <laughs> We're 
coming. Oh, Widow Saki lost a spot. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Widow Sook. The Exceeds, you guys still exist. That's so cool. From downtown, we stun our enemies. Why does no one ever use this weapon? Probably because it's like, we're all about efficiency, right? We go to the top five. Yo. Brother Blue. Yeah, we want this. It's exciting. It's beautiful. Oh, no. Why would you unleash the mountain onto a pit of spikes? <laughs> oh, dude, friends. You always got to carry your little robots here. <laughs> Fill me up with the, uh, what, we got the laser. We got the cloaking guy. I'll we'll take a pill. We, I mean... It's just good stuff right there. We're going. Do not care about damage. We do care a little bit because we don't want to die. Death is bad. We only get like 3,000 chances with, with the resurrection capabilities that are in. Whoop. <laughs> that are in the, uh, the forms of sparks. The forms of beauty. Get in there, Mike. Oh, you're not ready. His attack was not. <laughs> he was too hasty and he paid the consequences behold your little toe your ultimate demise is that reality though I'm like if you're if you're so beat up you're like oh i can barely go on and then your little oh he did it again and then your little toe hit like we just did it right there hit something would it make you pass out would it make you get to the point of like i cannot i can no longer go on that really hurt my face. Why am I swinging twice when I'm holding the button down once? <sighs> Alright, I don't want to be too embarrassed by uh, by dying on this uh, beautiful, happy-go-lucky dopamine rush of a level. But we will. If we have to. But I don't know, man. How do you, how do you even experiment with that kind of nonsense? <laughs> Isn't even, can you even do it? Out of here. Go get him, Mike. You're so strong. <laughs> Look, oh, you missed him. And almost impaled yourself on the spikes. We're ready. Our mountain is ready. La -da. Oh, that just feels too good, brother. Alright, let's go. We gotta we got get the cousin of it, right? The triglav. The triglave. My old, the old, uh, I got it from, uh, I guess we gotta play a lot more lockdown matches in order to get that one there, right? Like 200 some points? Like, holy smokes. Do I really want to climb that ladder again? I want to see a lot of guard and, uh, a lot of recon action? It's not like I'm gonna be, like, extremely invested in it or anything. But it would be nice to have. Dual wielding. Mountains on six. Oh, there we go, boys. Level nine. That's 22 right almost as we're about to, to descend into semi-goodness. Let's go. It's nice seeing a familiar sculptor face, too. I don't see those guys too much. Even in lockdown, it used to be populated with, uh, you know, the old school hardcore players would go, would go all sculver. I miss it. And nowadays, the cats rule the earth. The, the overbreeding of, of kitty cats has just got into society. What are, we, what are we supposed to do? How do you get rid of uh, the cats are adorable? Like, what, are you, what, are you, what are you really going to do about them? 12,000 freaking elites, dude. <laughs> if I could trade 100 to 1 ratio, I would do it. Alright, we're going. We don't need to change gear. We have the perfect shield already. Let's knock them into the spikes. That way you know you really want the money. If you just go in there to get it. Is it worth the pain? I'm trading pain for currency. 
Sort of on par with reality. You guys uh, take the monsters out, and I will open the treasure. That is the most efficient thing I can do, because you're all a bunch of elite immortals, and we can only, for some reason, go four at a time through our missions in any way. Anyway, I digress. We'll be we'll be the Mega Man Hunter for a minute. Fine. <laughs> I thought the uh, the rule of the jungle was caught, was a uh, button first and then currency, but we'll go currency and then button. It's fine. We're not we're not all about extreme cleanness. If they were all dead already, these guys are freaking immortal elites. <laughs> Just gonna use my Mega Man gun for a minute. I don't know what what do you think? Iron slug is next? That's the only gun that's the only weapon you need, really. Even Vanity falls short of the uh the oh, just just get him in there, buddy. Of uh of uh you know, trying to survive a, a decent I'm pretty sure it travels into Vanaduke, right? I should try the Winter Grave next time. Yeah, we fight that guy. <laughs> In case there was anything left, we destroyed the uh the cockroaches that would have survived the the apocalypse. <laughs> You guys ever see Wally? Basically, a scientific documentation on documentation. <laughs> I can't even say it. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't drop pills. The game doesn't let you drop pills anymore. Why would you do this to people that want to be friends? Game. Gray Havens, get out of my face. I know it's more efficient to double shot. Whoop. But in one game, when you can pretend to be like another character, the can you? There's got to be a way you could be Mega Man. I've never seen them both spawn right here before. Usually, and they're in the center. You can play like you can't play, pretend to be Mega Man other places. Not that I'm a huge fan of him, but you know he's got a rocket for an arm or a, a gun for an arm. What 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 five year old kid does not want to be Mega Man? I will help. Yes. <laughs> How many pills? Uh, how much energy do we have? You know, you know, what, what else? We oh, I was gonna do it, <laughs> dude. I love people, dude. I, I heard <laughs> two things on the radio that got me. I, I forget if I mentioned this or not, but it bears repeating if I didn't. Um, guy, my, my friend texted me this. He was listening. To, he listens to radio more than I do. Now, I've taken my ear out of politics. I got to get more into theology and philosophy because I stopped loving people. So I don't. Anyway, I think it's a summation of the last episode. Um, for, the, the first thing he said was like, "We are experiencing the great awakening." Now I don't know what his political venues are. I just thought that was really funny. <laughs> the second thing he said was like, apparently in like, I think in like Nebraska or North Carolina or something like that. They actually had a, they had 2,000 people at a speedway, and the way they can get around the the pandemic ridiculousness and is they just put a small sign in front that says, "This race supports inequality and injustice," because everyone else is allowed to break pandemic rules when it comes to inequality. Because apparently, according to the Great Awakening logic, you you can risk pandemic, you can risk violating social distance as long as you're sincere enough to recognize there's injustice in the world anybody can recognize there's injustice in the world my two-year-old when she can't eat dessert because she did not eat her chicken recognizes injustice in the world and her little relative mind this is where you have to this is this is where you get to the whole point of um morality itself being polarized and politicized we used to be more of a theonomous nation where we all believe people have value and that morals are transcended above opinion <laughs> But that's no longer the case. Now we now it's if you're on this side, you believe this is more serious. If you're on the other side, you believe that is more serious. And if they don't listen to you, they are on the side of hate because you are on the side of love. Anyway, let's end it on a good note. Once again, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed it. Click the like button, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And I'll see you next time. Take care.